you're going to be in the ambulance and then two helicopters are going to fly through the bridge. And I thought, oh, this is it's going to be visual effects. Someone's going to put this in on a computer in the end. He's like, I said, where are the, where are the, where are the helicopters? Said, They're on their way. Right, right, right. <laughs> They're on and their 15 way. minutes later, two helicopters. <laughs> and then under a bridge, he's like, just shoot at them. This movie is everything, right? The goosebumps, the sweats that I had coming down, the dry eyes because I didn't blink like for the entire film. Uh, my heart rate's just about come down as well. It was stress central, right? When you were filming it, did you ever get secondhand stress from your characters? Stress central is really good. <laughs> we were going Stressing Street. We were <laughs> driving down Stressing Me Street. That's so good. That's weirdly <laughs> accurate. Right, right. <laughs> did you get that stress from your characters? Like, there wasn't there any moment that you know, Jake, that you was ever like, "Oh, Danny, I wish you would just chill out for a second. I mean, I do. I watch it now, and I'm like, "Just quiet down, Danny. You're a little intense." Um, I think that's the that's the energy of making Michael Bay movie and this one in particular. He was always we were on the move. We shot the movie mm. in 39 days, and 39 days is short for a big action movie. So we were going from one big action sequence to shooting in an ambulance, shooting this really intense character scene, and then jumping back out and doing some stunts and shooting at stuff. And it was the whole day was filled with all that, right? And so that energy was in it. And that's all mm -hmm. from Michael. He loves yeah. practicality. And when you're working with a director that really cares about making everything seem really real, therefore we are in a real ongoing ambulance, a million miles per hour on a highway, then it really just adds that adrenaline. Michael Bay is a energy forward. I mean, we were talking recently about if we could be in Michael Bay's shoes for a day. I would be asleep by, <laughs> you know, noon. I'd be up at seven and be, have used so much energy by the time I get so doing it, I'd be like, but, be but, so but for those eager. four hours or whatever, I, you know, I would be, yeah, it'd be probably extraordinary, but it's a, it's a right be, off. Yeah. Um, I know obviously now you've got like some EMT experience and stuff like that. I can't lie watching the movie. Um, my blood pressure went up. The heart rate was there. I might need some of that, some tips and advice on how to keep that back down now, okay? <laughs> I wish I learned how to control that as well because I learned all the technicalities, but when it came to being inside the ambulance, I was feeling the same way you were feeling. Yeah. Watching it. And I was like, wow, I really don't know what to do in these scenarios. Like I, I, I actually had, I hyperventilating in, what, hyperventilated in one of the scenes and my hand started cramping up. And I was like, what is going on, guys? And the EMT was like, oh, that's normal. When you're breathing and doing these exercises, yeah. you have to get really accustomed to it because it makes you lightheaded and you lose oxygen in your body. And I was like, what in the golem is going on? Do you have a favorite scene or one that was like most fun to film? Driving through the LA River. That was crazy. It was spontaneous. It was not planned, not written. This like room. Michael oh, had, really? Michael has, uh, he's got the plugs, man. Uh, he, he can make a, you know, pick up a phone, make a phone call and all of a sudden, we got clearance to drive in the LA river and there's helicopters on either side of the car. I was saying that there was one of the yeah. takes where I called my boy on FaceTime and I just sat the camera right there. Like, and I, and, 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 and you know, you know, and I let him watch that scene because I was like, this is crazy. Somebody has yeah. to experience that with me. I was standing there and he goes, okay, listen, this is what's going to happen. You're going to be in the ambulance and then two helicopters are going to fly through the bridge. And I thought, Oh, this is, it's going to be visual effects. Someone's going to put this in on a computer in the end. He's like, I said, where are the, where are the, where are the helicopters? Said, They're on their way. Right, right, right. <laughs> They're on and their 15 way. minutes later, two helicopters. <laughs> and then under a bridge, he's like, just shoot at them. You know, yeah. it was, that's, that was, the, that was the process. They performed this insane surgery in the back of it, going a million miles an hour, as you said, what, what were the sort of things that you had to do to prepare for it? When I tackled the movie, I said to Michael, I need to make sure that even though there's a Hollywood sense of it, I mean, I'm sure you could not perform a surgery like that on the back of an ambulance ever. No. I want to make sure that it feels authentic and real to EMTs when they're watching it. So um, Michael let me talk to real life surgeons and he wow. had me on the phone, I think with the best boob do a doctor in, in, of course, in yes, Miami. Yes. And I was supposed to talk to him for 15 minutes. And the next day, Michael goes, Aza, Aza, I told you to talk to him for 15 minutes. You had him on the phone for two hours. He's the best <laughs> in the world. Who do you think you are? I was like, I don't know. He heard that I was really passionate. He was loving it. We talked on the phone for two hours, walked me through the entire surgery, how it actually would be what actually wouldn't happen. And so I just wanted to know all the intricacies because even though whether you get to see them at the end of the day on the screen or not, I wanted it to feel as real as possible and me knowing what it is on the day mm. makes me look more confident doing it. If 
there had to be a tune on your character's playlist, what do you think that would be? Or like oh, one song? For, for Cam? Yeah. Well, that's a good question. You know that uh, EMTs, I mean, this is quite funny, but you know EMTs, the way that they remember the the rhythm of the pushing, you know what song it is? Stand alone. Yeah. What? Maybe not with those vocals, but yeah. You did really good. I'm glad you did it instead of me. Will's playlist? Oh, um, I, you know it was on Will's playlist. It was Al Green. That was that was that's sort of my my playlist. That's your go-to. Yeah, yeah, like some Al Green, some Marvin Gaye, some jazz, D'Angelo. What would go on Will's playlist? Will would probably have like a classic Los Angeles, like like a classic LA playlist. Oh, wow. Yeah, he'd probably have some like Ice Cube, Snoop. The, the ones that you'd be playing whilst driving an ambulance at full speed, right? Yeah. Sure, for sure. Mine would just be the Transformers soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as it is. <laughs> iconic. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely iconic. Just fully immersed now, in like, the Bay experience, you know? Now, this action movie is the one that we needed in our lives for such a long time now. Um, it's up there with one of my all-time favorites. What would you say to people who are considering going to watch it in the cinemas? This movie was made for the movie theater and just go on a crazy ride. Yeah, it is a visual and audio I would say experience. go. I would say go to the restroom before you sit down. Yeah. <laughs> I, and I would say- I would agree. Pay I'd for your that. seat, but you'll only need the edge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Hey, listen, just on that note, guys, it's been a pleasure chatting to you both. Congratulations on the film. Like, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm already, okay. I'm already yeah, sat on the edge of my seat. Oh, my you got to pay for the seat, only near the edge, driving down Stressing Me Street. You got, yeah, you like, got, we gave it to all, we gave you all on, of man. it. So we it's haven't up, given it's, anybody it's, this. It's up to you to use you it. You got to use this right. Yeah. Stressing well. Me Street, we're about to go there. We're about to go there. We're taking <laughs> it to Stressing Me. 